Attention, students, attention. Don't be chicken to enter our excellent costume contest. to the spring dance, matey. Myron, why are you wearing two pirate eye patches? Ha <laughs> ha! So I can be twice the pirate as anyone else. Glug, glug, glug. Refreshing. Arg! So what are you supposed to be, matey? Hey, Myron. Hey, you sound exactly like my friend Dana. Hey, Dana, let me guess. You're a librarian, right? Uh-uh-uh, a Dewey Decimal Technician. Great spring dance, huh? Yeah, but shouldn't we have the costume party at Halloween instead? Halloween? But that's when we celebrate the arrival of spring. Yeah, Todd, don't you know anything? <sighs> now I'm ready for the costume party. Are you supposed to be a car dashboard? Yes, and the best part is, I've got driver's side airbags to protect myself from any sudden impacts. What kind of sudden impacts? Ahem. Hi, Todd. Ah, oh, Sammy, we shop our own. That means we watch funny looking kids. Come back, Todd. Why are you always bouncing away from me? Ah, so happy, these babushkins. It reminds Miss Mush of old times in swinging gulag with hairy Cossack boys. I go disco every night. Oh, Miss Mush, she hot like boiled pierogi back then. Oh, -hoo. Sammy, you need mingle more. Go knock him dead on dance floor, no? Oh, I forget. You already dead. No worry. You just need good costume. I fix you up. Want to dance, Todd? Ugh. Please, 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 please. No, Mauricia. I just got bounced halfway across the school. I need a break. What? You want to break up with me? Huh? No, no, that's not what I said. And besides, we can't break up because we're not even going out. But, but, <laughs> Mauricia, are you okay? I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. My feelings, Todd? Step away from the vehicle. I repeat, step away from the vehicle. I see you meet tall, quiet stranger. He shake your hand now. Pleased to meet you. My name's Mauricia. I'm a princess. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, ho, ho. he say you sweet as boiled pierogi. Really? What's he look like? What? Oh, oh, he very shy. Uh, they all like that at school for extra rich and handsome me. Ooh, I've always had a thing for the strong, silent, handsome -y type. Did you hear that, John? Uh, Mr. Handsome -y need to powder a faceplate. Give me right back. See, you already made friend with Pony Headed Princess, right, Sammy? Costume, good idea, no? Ha ha ha! <gasps> Look, Mauricia, I'm sorry about what I said before. I do like you. Talk to the hand, Todd. I've just met me a mystery man. Wow. What a hunk. He's so dreamy. <sighs> Step aside, girls. Mystery man's mine. 
He's way cooler than Todd. Come on, Prince Charming, shake a leg. You've got some charming to do. Wait, Miss Marsh, help with dance? Whoa, whoa! I had his moves. Something's not right here. Oh, should I do it more like this? I think I better get a closer look at this mystery guy. Attention, students, attention. It's time to announce this year's best costume winners. I voted for you, Mr. Kidswater. I love that chicken costume. Thank you, little double pirate boy. But it's not a chicken outfit. I'm actually a mighty eagle. King of the sky. Huh? <laughs> That's, um, an eagle leg, by the way, comes with the chicken costume. I mean the eagle, I, I mean... Whatever. As I was saying, votes are in for King and Queen of the Spring Dance. The best girl costume is that roller skating princess person. Best boy, knight in shining armor. Sammy, you win! I mean, uh, mystery boy say... Thank you, ladies. to put the brakes on this mystery boy. Delivery in the kitchen for Miss Mush. Delivery? Maybe industrial cement mixer to make lunchtime special. <laughs> Look, buddy, I don't know what's going on here, but Mauricia is my girlfriend. I mean, my friend who happens to be a girl. My friend girl. That silent treatment won't work with me, pal. Something smells rotten, and I think it's you. Hello? Anyone home? Sammy? Mauricia fell for a dead rat? <sighs> She'll be heartbroken when she finds out. I can't let that happen. Attention, students, attention. Time for the king and queen to come up for their very special dance. So, let's get this over with. Now stop that already! Mm. Remember, I'm not a chicken. I am an eagle! Okay. Hurry, Sammy! You miss slow dance with pony-headed girl! Oh, Sammy, you so popular. You turn Miss Mush heart to goulash. Whoa! Sammy, how you move like that? You dead. Oh, mystery kid. Please, let me see your beautiful mystery face. No! Sammy! Todd? 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 344 South Fairview? Todd, where do you put Sammy? We exchanged costumes. I just couldn't let Mauricia see her new love was a dead rat. It would break her heart. Oh, why you not say so? You in love with pony-headed princess! Yay! Oh, well, I don't know about that. I mean, come on, me? In love? What's that, Todd? You're in love with me? Oh, Todd! I knew it was you in that costume all along. Wait, no, 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 I... Ah! Oh, Todd. Even more friends! 
Miss Mush, she alone. Even dead rat have good time. I don't suppose you'd be interested in a quick dance. Oh, okay, kids, Vatsky. I show you how we scramble eggs in the old country. Lucky for you, children, Mrs. Jules has asked me to lead this year's exciting camping trip adventure. I've been on many a daring safari, and let me tell you, when you're in the wild, anything can happen. Hey! Why didn't someone tell me the campground was on the sixth floor? I looked all over for it downstairs. Myron, the fifth floor's for pottery class. Oh, so that's why I'm so dizzy. Can someone pass me another bag of marshmallows? These ones won't stay on my stick. Oh, Todd. Don't you want to sit closer to me while we tell scary ghost stories around the campfire? Um, no thanks, Mauricia. But who'll protect me if I get scared? I feel so vulnerable. You? The toughest girl in school? All you ever want to do is punch me. You're just too rough. No, I'm not. I... I must not hit Todd! Ow! You are too rough. Yeah, well... Uh -huh. I wasn't always like this. Tell him, Dana. It's true. See, a long time ago, before Todd joined our class. Oh, brother. Mauricia was a gentle girly girl. Why, aren't you the prettiest peach of a porcupine, Fluffy? One day, Mrs. Jules was sick, and we got the meanest substitute ever. My name is Mrs. Gorf, and if any of you are bad, I'll wiggle my ears, stick out my tongue, and turn you into an apple. <laughs> that wasn't very nice. Poor Eric! Right, Eric? Gorf? Mrs. Gorf? It says here in the rule book, turning students into apples is not allowed. Gorf? And the next thing I knew, I was an apple too. Ooh. A fascinating tale. Reminds me of the time I was hunting pomegranates on the subcontinent with my trusty steed, Thunderbolt! The pomeg... <clears throat> Excuse me, I must gather some more kindling from the forest interior. <laughs> anyway, Mrs. Gorf would not stop. Now, back then, Myron was also a different person. Heroic, fearless, self-sacrificing. Mrs. Gorf, as sometime class president, I demand you cease and desist all Apple-related damages. Mrs. Gorf actually seemed surprised, even impressed. Ah, at last! A student noble enough to risk his own safety in order to protect his friends. What? Whoa! Who said anything about risking my safety? I shall not turn you into an apple. Oh, goody! Instead, she turned him into a potato. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fluffykins, how are we going to save them apples?
Pickles. Oh, hey, Mrs. Gorf. Everything okay? Lewis had heard Mrs. Gorf was a really mean teacher. Then he saw the apples. Whoa, the students must love you. Look at all the apples they gave you. And a potato, too. Bonus. Students love me. <laughs> And so Mauricia skipped away with all of her Apple classmates. Hold on a second. Mauricia actually skipped? Ah! I once skipped across a Nepalese plateau wearing nothing but yak butter! Now that's a tale to tell! But now I must rewind the forest ambience. <clears throat> yes, Mauricia skipped. She felt it was much more ladylike. It just wasn't very fast. Sure. So, everybody, as part of our Halloween dress rehearsal, it's time for... Bobbing for a pulse! <laughs> okay, children. Today we'll finger paint with applesauce. Made from those apples right over there. Get up! <laughs> What's up? Applesauce! And that's how you play fruit ball. So, everyone bring their fruit. I got an orange. I got a banana. <clears throat> hey! Is anyone using this apple? Don't worry, Fluffy, my sweet. Mrs. Gorf must have a reason for being so mean. Maybe being turned into a little old apple is just a part of growing up. Potato casserole. Let's see, 10 eggplant, six couple socks, and one potato. Where I put my potato? Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Is there an echo? Cool. <laughs> oh, Fluffykins! You're a... You're a prickly pineapple! <laughs> That's when things changed for Mauricia. It was like something inside of her just... turns my porcupine into a porcupine apple. <laughs> but first, there's something I gotta do. Go, 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 huh? Applesauce, 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 applesauce. Swing, bada bada bada, swing, bada bada bada, swing, bada bada bada, swing! Come back here! You not first food to run from Miss Mush. Where do you go? Ah! I no need stupid potato. I make crayon casserole instead. And that's why we never eat Miss Mush's rainbow colored casserole. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of the time I wrestled a wild crayon on the coast of Tangiers. Teal blue, one of the most ferocious colors alive. Maybe I'll go fix the stream. So Mauricia snatched up all the rest of us Apple students. Now. Where were we? Give me back my class! Sure! You want them? You got them! Ah! Ah! Hey -ya! I give up! Make them stop! Only if you promise to turn them all back into students. 
Okay, okay, I promise. So Mrs. Gorf turned all of us apples Gorf? back into students. Gorf? Fluffy! Oh, Fluffy. Ouch! You've changed. Well, that makes two of us. At this point, Mauricia could have turned back too. Back into the polite and proper girl she'd been before. <laughs> Gorf? No! I've turned myself into an apple! That was the end of Mrs. Gorf. And Mauricia's been a tough girl ever since. Now, will you sit with me? Sure, if I actually believed that story. What? Do you really want to take that chance, Todd? After all, who will protect you from Mrs. Gorf? Ah, uh, that's not really Mrs. Gorf, is it? Ow! Oh, flying apples! Reminds me of the time I was stranded on an island full of giant flying mutated apples. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,